my last video where I was so unbelievably white. It was kind of gross. I keep like messing with my lighting because I'm so paranoid that even though I look fine in the viewfinder of the camera, I'm going to be super white and awful once I transfer to the computer. So I lowered everything and I look a little less white, so ugh, fingers crossed. So as per usual in these videos, my hair is a hot mess. Also, my eyes are looking uneven and I don't know why. They're not uneven. I promise you guys, it's just, I don't know. Today's video is going to be a first impression video and I am doing the Revlon Bold Lacquer by Grow Luscious. Now, this is not new, okay? It's not new by any means. I got this back in July in my Beauty Bounce 5 unboxing and many of your review have come out since then, but I absolutely love trying out new mascara and I kind of want that to be like one of my things, you know, like first impressions of mascara. So yeah, I ran out of one of my other mascaras that I use on the regular, so I figured it was a perfect chance to, no zitches, try a new one. And what it claims to do is give intense color pigments and deliver a lustrous deep color to lashes. The Lash Stretch Brush pulls the formula's high shine lengthening fibers from root to tip and beyond, giving you lashes that look gorgeously long and full. And I really like the packaging of this. I think it is very appealing to the eye, not only with the tube, but with the packaging itself. Let's just get on into it and apply it. Gorgeous. I love it. It's unlike any other mascara I've seen before. Really unique. However, it feels very lightweight. It's a lot lighter than any other mascara I've ever owned before. Like, it feels like my mascara when it's empty and there's nothing left in the tube. Now, I've never tried any Revlon mascara before. I don't know if this is their first kind, but I'm I'm pretty excited. I've heard mixed reviews on this, mostly good, however, and I'm pretty picky with my mascara, so picky with it. I need like, va va boom, bam, smack you in the face fucking lashes. Like, they need to be large and in charge, and if it doesn't give me that, I don't like it. So this is what the brush looks like. It is a regular brush tip applicator. It has little bristles, so it's not like the plastic kind that I usually like. I don't usually gravitate towards these kind of brushes, the bristly ones, because they tug at my lashes. So I'm a little nervous about that. Extreme close-up, It's so fucking stupid. It does seem like a wetter formula. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this kind of bristle at all. But it does give a nice coverage. It's just these kind of applicators irritate my eyes to no end. Like, it hurts. Because to get super close and, like, go upwards, you poke your eye. And I hate that. So here is one layer of the Grow Luscious Bold Lacquer, and here is my Nike eye. So first impressions of the first layer is that it gives me some volume and a little bit of length. As you can see here, they don't seem to go above my brow bone. Here they reach just a little bit above it, and I feel like with a second coat it will look even better. But first coat, it looks very average, a very natural looking application. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna come back and apply a second coat so that we can see how it looks. All right, so we are going to apply the second coat. Here's my Nikki eye, and here's one with two coats of the Bull Dacker, the Grow Luscious Revlon Mascara. Personally, I, I myself would probably go back in and add a third coat. Um, usually this is the point where it gets kind of tricky, they can get kind of clumpy, so we're gonna see, we're gonna push the boundaries, but right here is two coats and no coats. Three coats, no coats, 
three coats, this is looking good. This is how I like my eyelashes to look with two coats. So, I'm gonna zoom you guys out and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Overall final thoughts, I fucking hate the wand. I hate it, okay? Yeah, don't like the wand, irritated my eyes. Mm -mm. Hate it. Does it volumize? Yes. Does it lengthen? You guys saw. Yes, it does. So, overall, I would recommend this to people who are not picky with how their eyelashes look and you want a more subtle look. This is by no mean bold, let me tell you guys. It took three coats of mascara to get my eyelashes to look like this and I don't even think that these are that bold. I like my lashes even darker than this and I have mascaras that are darker than this with just two coats of mascara. So no, I don't think that this is bold, therefore I do not like this too much. I don't like it that much. I will continue to use it because it is a decent mascara. Just, just decent. I would wear this if I were going to work or running errands and I don't want to use my other mascara and I want a less intense and less dramatic look. I would reach for this then. Would I repurchase it after it's done? No, I would not. Another pro to this mascara is that even though I used three different coats, my eyes aren't that hard, sort of crusty feeling lashes. They are still light, they are still flexible. It's not, it's not, it doesn't feel, you know, caked on or anything. And I think that's a nice pro to have because that means that your lashes won't be weighed down so it will hold the curl that your lashes currently have. So what's the verdict, Jade? My final thought, just buy it. Just just go buy it. I don't like it, but it might work for you. It's one of those mascaras where I'm just too picky and I have such high standards and I do not settle. Thank you guys so much for watching this very indecisive mascara first impression of the Revlon Bold Lacquer by Grow Luscious. If you guys like these first impression videos, give this a big thumbs up. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know your opinion on it. Do you have a review? Do you have a demo? Let me know down below. I want to see how my experience is compared to your experiences. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!